Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about DNA microarray for beginners. Let me first start with the definition of DNA microarray. A microarray is a laboratory tool that is used to detect the expression of thousands of genes at the same time. DNA microarrays are microscope slides that are printed with thousands of tiny spots in defined positions with each spot containing a known DNA sequence. These slides are also referred to as gene chips or DNA chips. The DNA molecules attached to each slide act as a probes to detect the gene expression. The example of DNA microarray has been shown here. As you can see that in this slide there are multiple spots and each of these spots has uh, the unique DNA sequence attached to them. And this DNA sequence is complementary to the particular gene. Okay, so now let me start with the DNA microarray analysis technique. So in any kind of DNA microarray analysis experiments, we will have two kinds of sample, one control sample and the other one disease or cancer, disease or treatment sample. As an example here, the disease sample has been taken as cancer sample. So from both of these sample, first RNA will be isolated. So RNA from control sample has been called here RNA1 and RNA from cancer sample has been called here RNA2. After the isolation of RNA, cDNA is synthesized. The cDNA from RNA1 has been called here cDNA1 and cDNA from RNA2 has been called here cDNA2. After the synthesis of cDNA, these cDNAs are labeled with different fluorescent dyes. As an example, cDNA from control sample has been labeled with green fluorescent dye, whereas cDNA from cancer sample has been labeled with red fluorescent dye. Noteworthy to mention, it is very important to label these two different kinds of cDNAs with different fluorescent dyes. After the labeling of the cDNAs, these cDNAs are mixed and they are subjected to hybridization in the DNA microarray slide. So basically, after mixing, the sample is put on the slide and then hybridization will occur. So what is hybridization? Hybridization is the binding of the cDNA uh, to these different spots uh, containing the complementary sequence in the, in the glass slide. So binding of the cDNA to its complementary sequence in, in, these, in these DNA microarray slide that is called hybridization. Not all the spots, the sequence present in not all the spots will have complementary sequence uh, from the mix. So therefore, not all the spots uh, will have bound cDNA. Some spots will have bound cDNA and in some of the spots uh, there will be unbound cDNA because that cDNA does not have its complementary sequence in that particular spot. So the unbound cDNA will be removed by washing whereas washing does not remove the cDNA that has been bound to its complementary sequence present in the particular spot. Okay, so after washing, then the slide will be scanned in the DNA microarray slide scanner. After scanning, we will have the results. So now let me explain to you uh, what is the meaning of these results. As you can see that some of the spots are appearing uh, red, some are appearing yellow, some are appearing green, while some spots are without any color. And in addition, the intensity of the color also varies between different spots, even though not shown here. So what does this mean? So what is the meaning of these different colors present in, in, in this glass slide, this DNA microarray slide? So let's first take an example of no color. So what does it mean? So let's say that this particular spot, this particular spot has has the has has the sequence complementary to gene A. So if no uh, if there is no color, which means that 
neither the cDNA from a control sample nor the cDNA from cancer sample get bound to this because after washing everything was removed therefore there is no color so no colored no no labeled cDNA was bound to the complementary sequence present in this spot and this spot has the complementary sequence DNA complementary sequence attached to it for the gene let's say that A and for this spot let's say that the complement uh, uh, the sequence is specific for gene B for this spot gene C and for this gene D so if there is no color so what does this mean this means that gene A is not present gene A is not present okay gene A is not present gene A is not present in control as well as cancer sample okay gene A is not present in control as well as cancer sample so then what does this red color mean okay red color so that means that we are talking about this spot and this spot has sequence complement attached sequence attached which are complementary to gene B so if there is a red color which means that only the cDNA from cancer sample got bound to it but the cDNA from control sample did not bind to it therefore we see the red color because the red red, red cDNA from cancer sample has been leveled with red fluorescent dye so the red color this means the red color means that the gene B gene B is present gene B is present in cancer sample gene B is present in cancer sample in cancer sample but gene B is absent okay gene B is absent or not expressed in control sample not expressed in control sample okay so now let's look at this yellow color so what does this yellow color mean so in this third third spot this spot has the complementary sequence dna complementary sequence attached to it specific for gene c so we see here a yellow color which means yellow is the color if we put red plus green together then we get yellow color this means that gene c is present in both gene c is present in both control present in both control present in both control as well as as well as cancer sample control as well as cancer sample so that therefore we see yellow color because uh, this cdna from cancer sample binds to this place at uh, this spot and also cdna from control sample also binds to this spot therefore both the colors are mixed yellow and green so which means that gene c a is present okay which means that a uh, gene c is present gene c is present in both control as well as cancer sample okay gene c because this spot this spot has sequence complementary to gene c and in this spot in this spot a uh, both the cdn is bind um, both the fluorescently labeled cdn is bind which means that a uh, gene c is present in both a uh, control as well as cancer sample now let's look at this green spot so green spot so what does this mean so this is the spot corresponding to green spot here so that means that this this spot has the sequence complementary to gene d if so you you see that here we see the green color and the green color is coming from uh, the control cdna so this means that only the cdna from the control sam sample bound to this spot but not the cdna from the cancer sample hence which means that gene d gene d is present gene d is present or expressed in gene d is expressed in control sample in control sample but not in not in cancer sample not in cancer sample okay so even though i did not show here uh, the intensity of the color will indicate the expression level of particular gene 